the Pratista Kingdom is a cornerstone of life on earth, teeming with a diverse array of captivating and unique organisms. These include familiar forms like algae alongside fascinating but lesser known groups. So in this video by the Daily Eco, we'll unveil the secrets of the Pratista Kingdom. We'll delve into its defining characteristics and explore how these organisms are classified. The Protista Kingdom represents the third major classification within the five kingdom system for living organisms. This kingdom encompasses unicellular and multicellular eukaryotic organisms. Their defining characteristic is the presence of anatomical and functional traits that fall between those of plants and animals. Protists inhabit a wide range of environments across the planet. They exist in both microscopic and macroscopic forms, thriving in fresh water, salt water and even terrestrial environments. Some protists even have parasitic relationships with animals. The ecological role of protists is very important. They contribute to the health of various ecosystems. However, some protists are also responsible for human diseases. How big are protists? They vary greatly in size, ranging from microscopic unicellular forms to multicellular organisms several meters in length. Where do protists live? Protists inhabit various environments, including the air, humid terrestrial areas, or within other organisms. They can be found in diverse locations such as soil, fresh water, ocean floors, or decaying organic matter. How do protists get food? Protists exhibit a range of feeding mechanisms. They can be autotrophs, generating their own food, or heterotrophs, consuming organic matter. Notably, some can utilize both methods. Certain protist species are parasites, infiltrating multicellular organisms and feeding on them, causing diseases. Some protists form protective cysts during harsh conditions. Within the cyst, they enter a dormant state with reduced metabolism, persisting until favorable conditions return for reproduction and survival. Do protists move? Protists exhibit mobility through various mechanisms. Some utilize flagella cilia or cirifobia for movement, while others do not move. They can also form different symbiotic relationships, such as mutualistic, commensalistic, and parasitic, just to name a few. How do protists reproduce? Protists utilize both sexual and asexual reproduction strategies. Sexually, they undergo meiotic and meiotic processes. Asexually, they reproduce via mitosis, bipartition, budding, or multiple division. Classification of the Kingdom Protista Classifying protists remains a significant challenge in evolutionary biology. Scientists have grouped them into supergroups based on shared characteristics, so let's take a brief view of the most popular ones. Amoebasons, amoebas that are able to move. Archiplastida, primitive green and red algae, ancestors to plants. Excavata, flagellated protists. Estromenopiles, unicellular and multicellular, and some non-chlorophyll parasites. Alveolates, aquatic protists with or without chlorophyll, some parasitic, all with cortical alveoli. Rhizarians, amoeboid or flagellate organisms with or without chlorophyll. Opistoconts, protists believed ancestral to animals and fungi. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have learned from watching this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time.